Spotify on the way to Mount Nauru, but I'm stopping off in Nauru and, uh, and then going on to Dar al Salaam and then to Kilimanjaro. So, yeah, here we are. So, we're about to get on the little flight plane. You can see how little it is, it's so cute. And we're on our way to Kilimanjaro. I'm just going to show you around the airport. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, gonna head for a drive now. I don't look so great. I've been traveling all night, but this is the Weru Weru Lodge. And uh, I'm gonna show you around because look at how beautiful that is. It's just really stunning, isn't it? So it's got like um, a swimming pool and then these are the lodge houses. You can see that just there. And then in the background um, is some fields and some farmland. So it's really, really pretty. And uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit around the room as well. So if we go inside, you can see here. And it doesn't look like much here, but it's actually very, very pretty. And uh, obviously this is the mosquito net. And you've got this really nice, pretty bed. So then we're gonna walk around, have a look through the view on the other side. And uh, oh, it's just stunning, really, really stunning. So I was showing you here is the restaurant and then you've got some little swings. It's just absolutely beautiful. Hey, so I've woken up in the Woro Woro Lodge. I'm here and <laughs> covered in a mosquito net. <laughs> it's pretty cute. And uh, you can hear all the animals in the background. They've gone quiet now, but wait. Shh. How nice is that? <laughs> Morning's in Tanzania. <laughs> I'm eating breakfast. And this is our day two. So I've got some hard boiled eggs, coffee, honey, and this is sweet potato. So it looks really different, but it's really nice. And supposedly this is like a pancake. I haven't tried this and a banana, so amazing. So I'm gonna read you um, what the plan is for day one. So today we leave Moshi and we go to the Mamela Gate. From the Mamela Gate to Miri Kamba Hut. Basically we're driving an hour from Moshi all the way to the Maru Park entrance. And from the Maru Park entrance, we're going to um, Mamela Gate. So we're walking through the rainforest. And what's really cool about it is that there's actually a park ranger that comes with us the entire time. Um, because supposedly you see elephants and giraffes and um, gazelle and loads of other monkeys and stuff like that. So very exciting. And buffalo. So yeah, that's uh, the schedule for day one. And um, yeah, about to leave in an hour. So here we are at the gate. Um, the entrance gate to Maru. So if you have a look, Mount Maru is there in the distance um, and you can't really see it because it's covered in clouds but it's pretty special and what's really beautiful about this mountain is all the wildlife that you see. So Mount Maru is in the center of the Arusha National Park which means that the whole mountain, the base of the mountain, so day one on the walk, you get to see all of the wildlife which is uh really fun <laughs> um so this is 1500 meters above sea level and it's the starting point to reaching the summit of mount maru um, so we're heading there now
so far we've seen a family of baboons and uh, blue monkeys and uh, some buffalo warthogs. It's pretty, very, very cool. Could be a poison. <laughs> they fly. The cockroaches fly. It's awful. Julius. My name is Julius. Yep. I am a park ranger or oh, ranger guy. Yes, and yeah, you're we... going to be coming up with us with yes. your big gun. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. To protect us from the animals. Protecting you and uh, uh, information. Yes. For tour due to Arusha Park. Amazing. Climbing, so, uh, what plants. kind of animals do we see on We're Maru? We're going to see buffaloes. Yeah. Uh, giraffe, baboon, uh, warthog. Oh yes, like yes, Pumbaa from yeah, The Lion King. Yeah. And, so um, you feel like also elephant. Yes. yes wow. Yes. The elephant so, is uh, is not guaranteed, but they, it is possible to see them. Yeah. And what's the times. most dangerous animal there that you need to? Buffaloes. The and buffalo. Elephants, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And there are they aggressive? They are aggressive, but uh, it is not all animal are aggressive mm -hmm. except those who get injured by the poacher or he yeah. has old age or he has illness are there problem. poachers here in this yes, national park yes we have poachers but oh, few, shame. yeah yes you we should catch get them yes catch the poachers <laughs> yeah and then you amazing take them to police julius thank you so much You're we're welcome. excited to go yeah, up with welcome. you yeah, welcome. yay welcome. <laughs> Not blinding. This is red ants trail. Red ant. Mm. Oh, this. Yes. Wow. It is very important in the wild in the wilderness. So we made it to the to camp. So this is toilets, and they have an actual mirror. Isn't that insane? Um, so the views are pretty amazing in the background, and uh, on this side you can see up the top. If I move my head, you can see uh, little Maru, and big Maru is obviously covered, covered, and then um that's just through here that's the hut that I'm staying in and I'm going to show you around a little bit welcome 
to my hut. So you can see, so it's like bunk beds. And then um, I think this is where I'm gonna sleep, just there. So I've got like my little light and everything. Um, but yeah, it's uh, this is called the elephant. And it's actually pretty snug. It's not too cold here. To be honest, walking up was friggin' hot. Like, sweaty jungle hot. And as you can see from the other videos, it was just breathtaking. But it's all, like, jungle. And, yeah, it's insane. I'm going to show you around in a bit. But, um, so far made it. My feet are kind of sore. But, um, yeah, all is well. We had a really nice day. Um, I will say that... To climb Maru, they walk a lot faster than on Kilimanjaro. So if you're used to that pulley pulley pace where you walk super, super slow, that doesn't happen here. The park range is like, you know, chugging along and you're steep uphill the whole time. So yeah, just be mindful of that. <sighs> okay. For those of you who don't know how to shower on a mountain, I just, I found the toilet cleaner. Okay, but, so you get toilet paper, you get soap, and you semi get undressed. Um, I took my bra off ages ago. Alright, how do you open this open? So I'm using hand soap, so I'm gonna just... Pour this into the water. Hope it makes some bubbles. Oh shit, it's really warm. Okay. Actually, I am gonna do this in private. And <laughs> hello. <laughs> He's telling me all about Maru. Oh, no, no, he, no, just, no, he just no, no, no. <laughs> sorry, I keep no, pronouncing no, no. it wrong. Alright, tell me, tell me the truth. Truth? Yeah, <laughs> about you can do the summit. It. You can do it. He said it's really hard. <laughs> no, it, it's hard, but you can do it one step at a time. Yes. Yeah. And keep your mind yes. in the positive spirit. Yes. So he crazy. No. He did it in six <laughs> hours up and down. <laughs> yes. Well, it's, it'll be a fast. Um, <laughs> yes. Please. You were very fast. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the surroundings because it's really beautiful. So. <laughs> Um, and up there you can't see anything but supposedly here there it's behind all this stuff and then little maru is behind oh hold on wait let me get my finger right <laughs> behind this Meru. I keep, I keep saying it wrong. Meru. Me. 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 Meru. It's like a sheep. Meru. Hey guys, so it's six in the morning and the sunrise here is insane. I'm just going to show you um, in the background. And uh, let me see if I can find right there is the summit of Kilimanjaro. So that's Kibo. And uh, Uhuru Peak is just there, which is beautiful. And as you can see, all the clouds underneath, it's just beautiful. And uh, right here is Mount Maru, so in my background. So I'm on the rooftop at camp, and then you can see in the background here. And this here is called the Ash Cone. And then right there is the summit of Mount Maru. It actually looks... A little bit intimidating I'm not gonna lie and after meeting loads of people here at camp um, they also said that it was quite hard so let's see but uh just what's really beautiful I'm gonna turn around and show you is the clouds are just starting to rise so they're almost coming up to where we are which is really insane I think every time I wonder why I do this it's this it's just these insanely beautiful views with the summit of Kilimanjaro in the background so you can see here, the clouds are just at the tree line and the tree line is right where we are at camp. So I'll show you how close it is because you'll be able to see my water bottle in a sec. It's uh, just there, there's my water bottle and there's the cloud line. 
and it's uh, it's pretty beautiful. So the clouds are rising and rising, and here you've got Kilimanjaro. It's just beautiful. I've never seen this view of it before. See this? Right here, it's so dense. So this is everything that we walked through yesterday. So what I was saying is that this is how dense this forest is. You can see it just underneath, like underneath here. It's so rich and dense, it's beautiful. And you can hear all the birds in the background. Really beautiful. So um, this time tomorrow, we're going to be headed up Mount Maru. And, um, and so just if I can get my finger in the right spot, this is called Rhino Point. And then you actually walk across all the spine of the summit um, on summer night. So really exciting because I've never done a wildlife. This is literally a wildlife summit. There's so many animals here. It's just so beautiful, um, really breathtaking. And you can hear like the sounds and the, like even look in the five minutes I've been here, the clouds are rising. It's just insanely beautiful. We're gonna be completely covered in clouds in a second. All packed in the hut. So it's, um, there's my bag there. And how cute is this? So the guys at 6.30 a.m. They come in with a whole thing of tea and milk and honey and coffee which is um it's so cute so yeah very nice just gonna open the window ah much better yeah and that's the view of outside <laughs> they have the same size me and yes yeah. okay come on jump jump but sometimes we see the mammary glands it's like a peacock so <laughs> We've been walking for an hour and a half. So we walked from two five to three thousand meters, and like you can see, it's like um, it's actually quite steep. Not gonna lie. Now I'm walking to the bathroom. I sweated my ass off, and there's a little cabin there. Yeah. So this is apparently elephant back because it's steady, but it's steep. <laughs> And uh, the ranger was walking really fast. So we were meant to have like a couple of breaks, but we just walked for an hour and a half to the halfway point. And then we're having a little break here and then we're gonna keep going. But yeah, doing one lot, 3000 meters in two days. Whew, my lungs are like feeling it. Okay, in case you wanted to know what the toilets look like, on Mount Maru, it's like that. Take your toilet paper, they're like little huts. So this is it, um, elephant back, and uh, that's supposedly what elephant back is. They say it's steady, because the rest is steep. <laughs> nice. It looks green now, huh? Yeah, really yeah, green. because it's green. But it's gonna change the color. But I would like to see how will, 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 will this change when it's going to the grey then? Uh, it doesn't go that quickly, I think. Uh, yeah, it, it depends on It depends the... when it sits down on... This is so cool. Yeah. I've never seen one. <laughs> Into camp. <laughs> and here we are, coming into camp. Hello, Jumbo. Oh, coming into camp. This is it. All the guys are here. Here we're looking at the entire map of the Arusha National Park with the Maru Summit. You can see that we start at the Mamela Park Gate. We walk all the way through the forest and the grass plains looking at all of the animals until we get to Miriakumba Hut. And this is Camp 2. From there, we continue to head up the mountain until we get to Saddle Hut 
and this is now camp three. From Saddle Hut, we then continue all the way up until we reach the summit of Little Maru, which is at 3,820 meters. And then we continue to walk across the entire crater rim until we reach the summit of Mount Maru at 4,566 meters. All right, guys, we made it to the summit of Little Maru. And uh, in the distance, you've got all the little villages. You see Tanzania. And this is like Moshi and Arusha. And then um, to the other side, you've got our guides. And then Rudy as well. And there is the summit. You can see the sign, 3,800 meters. <sighs> little Maru and Big Maru over there. So tomorrow we're going back down to all the way to camp and then tomorrow we go, so this here is called Rhino Point, that little hump. And then from the hump we walk all the way across the rim of the whole thing. And the summit is right in the clouds. So really exciting. So I'm just going to show you the path that we came from in this direction. So camp was all the way down there. But really pretty so it takes to climb Little Maru from the camp that we were at it's like 45 minutes um, so it's it's actually really really pretty so I wanted to in the distance I wanted to show you something I don't know if you can see it from here but just right over um, this way is the cone and it's an ash cone I will show you some photos of it later. It's basically the volcano here erupted and it created this like, it's like another little mini mountain. It's like an ash cone. And uh, it takes about three hours to go from Mamela Gate to that ash cone and summit that. And then you can go and see inside the pit, which is really cool. Made it to the summit. You can see Hi. Kili. Oh, wait, wait, let me introduce you to the guys. Everyone say hello. Hello. <laughs> this is the socialist from Meru Summit. <laughs> Woohoo! Meru Summit. Because you guys find it easy. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. That's them. And there's Kili in the background. And just so you can see how insane this is, look over there. Like that rocky part. Crazy. Really crazy. The background. And then they have what does socialist um, stand for? Do you want to tell me again? Socialist. It's from the, the way we are reaching to, to ask for the freedom. freedom. Woohoo, Tanzania. Mm -hmm. That's a social life. Yeah. So after then, we get this kind of uh, tall mountains. Mm -hmm. and
hey guys so we made it back to miriakumba camp which is at 2500 meters i am pooped this is our dining tent so we've got popcorn tea nutella and uh yeah finished summiting today <laughs> yeah summit nights are never easy at all um anyway yeah all is well aside from that it was really really like a beautiful summit mm. Oh, Barack Obama! <laughs> we have Barack Obama in the car. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> We're in the ambulance. Oh, got it. Say hello! Say hello! <laughs> oh, yeah! All right, guys, that was the end of Mount Maru, the little wildlife African mountain summit. As you can see, I'm a little bit filthy. Uh, four days, no shower, but we've just gotten back to Mamela Gate. We literally passed a colony of baboons and a colony of giraffes. It was just breathtaking. So on the way down from the mountains. So this is officially a wildlife summit. 